My name is Mor. Hi, everybody. These are my uh, two identities. I'm uh, a faculty at the Jacobs Institute at Cornell Tech. I'm also a uh, co-founder and chief scientist at uh, Scene.co. Um, when I started my PhD at uh, Stanford, that was around the year 2000, uh, there was a mantra that the faculty there really like to repeat. They really like to say that uh, the place is here and the time is now. It felt like the Renaissance. Well, not anymore. It's now 2014. And the place is New York City. I think you saw today that the critical mass that we have here in academia, uh, the physical proximity of the institutions, uh, the industry, the startup activity, the VC activities, um, are making us a tech center like no other. So there was a lot of excitement in the room today, and I'm really happy to share the stage with everybody now back in the green room and all the academics. And thanks to Justin for running this great event. So I think what differentiates us in New York City that it feels, it feels real. The tech here feels real. We have a, a real problem-solving approach and a real-world focus, and that's what drives the vision of the Cornell Tech uh, campus. So from the ground up at Cornell Tech, we are designed for impact. This is a COPE co speak right there. Let me tell you what the informal version is. The informal version is that Cornell Tech is the answer to the question, what would happen if somebody gave you half a billion dollars and half a freaking island mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops. to revolutionize graduate education for the information age and actually help sustain and develop the information economy in New York City? That's what Cornell Tech is about. This is our future campus uh, to open less than three years from now. So they're gonna put all of this on the island in uh, less than three years, uh, which uh, is amazing. I'm glad I'm not responsible for this project. Um, and in the meantime, we are, anyone from Google here? Oh, yeah, a couple of people. Thanks, uh, Google. We're hosted in uh, Chelsea. Everyone else, uh, you're welcome to stop by and visit. Here are some numbers uh, across our programs. Uh, we just started, we went from 25 students, uh, masters, PhDs, uh, all together last year to about 100 this year. And we're gonna be around 2,000 sometime in the 2030s. So it is uh, literally gonna be huge. So inside Cornell Tech, I'm actually zeroing in on the red squares. We have the Jacobs Institute, which is a collaboration, a Technion uh, Cornell collaboration. And at Jacobs, we are meant to uh, push the boundary even more. We are meant to uh, be even more experimental, kind of the sandbox or the spearhead of change for campus. It's set up as a nonprofit, uh, so we're kind of not tied by the academic institutions, uh, uh, or not as tied by the academic institutions that support us. So one aspect of change at uh, Jacobs is that we have the idea of hubs. So our organization is around hubs. We, uh, instead of academic departments or disciplines and academic areas, we transcend those to focus on hubs of interest on New York City key industries and tackle problem solving with a diverse set of interdisciplinary uh, views. So the first three hubs that we have right now are uh, connective media, which I'll talk about, uh, health real life, and built environment. And the idea with the hubs also, like, you know, an academic department, good luck trying to shut down an academic department in the university, but the hub, five or six years from now, we may say, you know, this is not an interesting uh, problem to tackle anymore. We're going to focus on something else, and we can do that a lot faster uh, than uh, in regular academic environments. So, connective media, we actually made that term up. So the good news is we can make up what that means. Uh, so what we mean is the convergence of media, information, and communication. Uh, in the environment, we have new devices, new interactive, new interactive uh, modes, and so forth. So the convergence of these platforms drives markets, drives platforms, drives uh, uh, economies and companies, uh, including all these uh, great new companies, just uh, for example. These will all be uh, what we call connective media, uh, in the connective media space. So. Uh, as I said, uh, so the Connected Media Hub, we do research. I'm going to tell you about the academic program in Connected Media in a second. But just one example of the research that we do uh, at Cornell Tech. Uh, some of you have seen this in the demo. How many? Great. So uh, you saw a live demo of that uh, earlier today. You can actually go to the cdb.org. This uh, was made publicly available, launched uh, just earlier today. And the idea here 
is to build an algorithmic social media dashboard for the city. So we saw from Luke earlier today uh, the map of what people are interested in in, in uh, the entire US. Uh, this is an actual live reflection of what people are saying and doing in New York. Um, instead of Earth from space, like uh, Gabriel shows us, this is Earth, Earth from the ground. Uh, so you log in there, it's an interactive prototype uh, using Instagram and Twitter data. Uh, this was funded by the Brown Institute uh, uh, in part, so Mark that's speaking up to me uh, is uh, probably gonna show this slide as well. If he's listening to me, Mark, you better show this slide as well. Um, so in the hub, we have faculty, postdocs, uh, uh, we have PhD students, uh, we have experts in uh, different fields uh, like business, uh, Jonah Berger, uh, like uh, computer vision, uh, Serge Belongi, like uh, mobile sensing, uh, Deborah Estrin, and, and others as well. In the hub, we're offering a two-year program. So now I'm talking about uh, the Connected Media Masters in the Jacobs Institute at Cornell Tech. Uh, the Connected Masters is a two-year master's program in which the students not only develop the tech skills, but also uh, learn about the human and social aspects. They learn about uh, design, about creating and uh, launching different startups. So anything humans, tech, design, and entrepreneurship. Uh, the students are having a curriculum that's tech-focused, but includes all the other things that will help them innovate and be entrepreneurs in this space. And we do it using a studio approach. That's across all our programs. We have an MEng program, uh, one year, an MBA program, and now the Connected Media program. And all of them take a studio approach, uh, borrowing from design, uh, where they uh, constantly engage, constantly refine, constantly get uh, feedback and improve uh, startup style. In fact, startups are a major part of all our programs. And the Connected Media students spend about half their second year uh, building a startup uh, on campus. This is led by uh, Greg Pass, who was the uh, Samice co-founder and the former CTO of Twitter. All right, 2014, we just started this program, so we have a first batch of uh, 12 uh, fantastic uh, such students, uh, and you have to wait two years if you want to hire them, but you can talk to me then if you do. Um, so uh, that's, uh, and obviously next year we're gonna grow, uh, and even more the year after that. So, let me just uh, quickly review. I talked about the Connected Media Masters, uh, the Hubs idea, and the Jacobs Institute, Institute uh, and how we're the spearhead of uh, change at uh, the new campus in Cornell Tech. One more thing uh, about campus. I talked about making impact. Uh, we focus on external engagement and impact, in fact, so much that uh, we do not hire uh, faculty, as smart as they may be, that did not demonstrate engaging with the external world in the way that exceeds the expectation uh, that, uh, that you have from regular uh, academic environments. So we were looking for faculty that went above and beyond to engage with the real world. Uh, for myself, that means uh, I have uh, uh, the company that I co-founded, uh, Scene, and where I'm the chief scientist right now, uh, which is also right at the heart of connective media. At Scene, we're trying to take what is the communication information, social media data, and turn it into media in real time. So we take the feeds and the social feeds and we try to understand what's happening and show anything from events like today uh, to breaking news and other types of uh, uh, things that are happening on the web. So it's also commercializing a few uh, years of academic research uh, and we will actually have news to share about scene very soon, maybe at your next event or maybe even sooner than that. Uh, so ping me or follow us on Twitter to learn some more. All right. Oh, here's a screenshot. I actually had it. Um, that's my story. Feel free to follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can follow Cinco. Uh, if we're, we're also hiring. Happy to hear from you. Uh, you can get more information. Cornell Tech. And if you go to that URL, you can also get information from, uh, about our, uh, our connective media degree. Thank you very much.